This is a quick video about how to bind a TinyHawk S in D16 mode. First you need to plug a USB cable into the TinyHawk. Betaflight might automatically connect or you might need to click the connect button. Then go over to the configuration tab, scroll down until you see here the SPI receiver support. That is the correct receiver setting, but what you need to change is right here. FreeSky D is for D8 mode. FreeSky X is for D16 mode. So right now it's set to D8 mode. For D16 mode, we'll click FreeSky X. Then we'll save and reboot. Sometimes the save and reboot won't work. So in that case, hit disconnect. Then click connect again and go back to the configuration tab to see if it worked. It did save, it says it's FreeSky X now. From there, go to the CLI tab. Type this, bind underscore RX underscore SPI. And hit enter. Now that put the receiver into bind mode. Next, go to your transmitter. Go to the model that you have set up for the TinyHawk. Once you're in that model, go to the model setup page. Scroll to where it says mode. There you can choose D8 or D16. Change it to D16. Now note the number, for me it's number 21, then hit bind. Choose channel 1 through 8 telemetry off. The other options might work, but I don't know for sure. I do know that the telemetry off option does work. Once it binds, you may or may not get the lights flashing on the Tiny Hawk to show that it bound, but it probably did work. We can check in the CLI if it worked. You may need to move the Tiny Hawk away from the transmitter for the binding to work correctly. If you have the receiver and the transmitter right next to each other, it may cause binding problems. Now stop the binding in the transmitter. Next, type get freesky underscore x underscore rx underscore num into your command line in the CLI. Now you can see this number 21 right here. That number 21 shows that it bound to my radio because if you look at my radio, there's a number 21 next to the bind option on the screen. If this number for me 21 and this number for me also 21, if those match, then it did bind correctly. Make sure to type save into the CLI so it saves everything you just did and then click disconnect. You can now unplug your Tiny Hawk. Now your Tiny Hawk should be working fine in D16 mode. This is extremely useful for any of the new FreeSky transmitters, like the X-Lite Pro, because all of the new ones don't come with a D8 mode, so you need to switch your receiver mode to D16 to be compatible. You use the same method on both the Tiny Hawk S and the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. It does not work on the original white Tiny Hawk. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.